Lovely knowing you all. Grow better! The only things in the flat Crowley devotes any personal attention to are the houseplants. He had heard about talking to plants in the early 70s and thought it an excellent idea. Although talking is perhaps the wrong word for what Crowley does. Is that a spot? Is it? Right, you know what I've told you all about leaf spots. I will not stand for them! You know what you've done. You've disappointed me. Oh dear, oh dear. Everyone, say goodbye to your friend. You just couldn't cut it. Oh, this is gonna hurt you so much more than it will hurt me. You guys, grow better! What he does is put the fear of God into them. More precisely, the fear of Crowley. The plants are the most luxurious, verdant, and beautiful in London. Also, the most terrified. Where the Hi, anti this is Anthony Crowley. You know what to do, do it with style. Don't move. There's something very important you need to know before you disgrace yourself. I know where the Antichrist is. Yeah, it's not a good time. Got an old friend here. But... Well, you've definitely passed the test. You're ready to start playing with the big boys. Boy, you're mad. The Lords of Hell had to make sure you were trustworthy before we gave you command of the legions of the damned in the war ahead. And. Pasta! Duke of Hell! You've come through with flying colours. Me? No, I, I wouldn't expect you to believe me, Duke Pasta. But why don't we talk to the Dark Council? Let's see if they can convince you. you, you you're calling the Dark Council? Yes, I am. And they say, so long, sucker! You're probably wondering where Crowley has gone. Demons aren't bound by physics. Over the years, a huge number of theological man-hours have been spent debating the question, how many angels can dance on the head of a pin? For demons or for angels, size and shape are simply options. So if you look from really close up, the only problem about dancing on the head of a pin is all those big gaps between electrons. That's where Crowley has gone. That's where Haster is following. Right now, they are both traveling incredibly fast through the telephone system. I heard your voice. You and your best friend are near a fail. You're dead, mate. Pastor, Duke of Hell, is now trapped on a tape inside Crowley's antique telephone answering machine. Where am I? Don't leave me here. I know where the antichrist is. Oh, no. I know where the antichrist is. Oh, no, you would. No, you wouldn't dare, you. You snake! Ha <laughs> ha! And it's official. This is the biggest traffic jam in England's history. Why? What you did to the M25 was a stroke of demonic genius, darling. Oh, no, 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 no. The traffic jam is being caused by problems on the M25, the freeway that circles London. Crowley had a lot to do with the design of the M25 back in the 1970s. So, thanks to three computer hacks, selective bribery, and me moving some markers across the field one night. The M25 London Orbital Motorway, which was supposed to look like this, will, when it opens in 1986, actually look like this and represent the dread sigil Odegra in the language of the dark priesthood of ancient Mew. Odegra means, hail the great beast, devourer of worlds. Can I hear a wahoo? Hail the, hail the great, great beast. beast. 
devourer of worlds. The M25 had become unexpectedly a burning magical ring of fire that surrounded London. Nobody was getting in or out. Crowley had made it. Now Crowley was trapped inside it. Right, the M25 is now an impossible burning ring of infernal fire, and that's my fault. Come on, Tudfield, Tudfield, Tudfield. Motors are being advised to avoid the M25 London Orbital Motorway because, in the words of a Transportation Department spokesman, it's on fire or something. What does that even mean? Stop this! It's over! You're doomed! You hear me, Crowley? You're doomed! Whatever happens, doomed! See? This day's already got better. <laughs> You're just covering this boat! <laughs> this is not funny! Come on! If you've got to go, then go with style! I hate you! <laughs> you are my car. I've had you from new. You are not going to burn! Don't even think of it! Crowley has something no other demons have, especially not Haster, an imagination. Right now, he is imagining that he is just fine and that a ton of burning metal, rubber, and leather is a fully functioning car. He had started the journey in his Bentley, and he was damned if he wasn't going to finish it in the Bentley as well. Son, come here. You're not my dad. Dads don't wait until you're 11 to say hello, and then turn up to tell you off. What? If I'm in trouble with my dad, then it won't be you. It's gonna be the dad who was there. You're not my dad! What did you say? You can do it! Say it, Adam! Say it again! Yeah. You're not my dad. You never were. No. No, 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 no. Adam? Adam? That's not really his father. Oh, for heaven's sake, where it is it? It is. It is now. And it always was. He did it. Adam! Would anyone here care to explain to me what exactly is going on? It's lovely knowing you all. May we meet on a better occasion. Shut your stupid mouth and die already. I don't suppose that anywhere in the nine circles of hell there's such a thing as a rubber duck. It may be worse than we thought. He's gone native. He isn't one of us anymore. What is he? 
So, you're probably thinking if he can do this, I wonder what else he can do. And very, very soon, you're all going to get the chance to find out. Yeah, he's bluffing. We can take him. One demon against the rest of hell. What's he gonna do? Shut it! Get him out of here. Cause a riot. What are you all looking at? Nothing to see. Nothing to see here. I came to bring back the... Oh, Lord. Michael! Dude, do, do as quick miracle, will you? I need a bath towel. I think it would be better for everyone if I were to be left alone in future. Don't you?